What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a fantastic Monday night. A long day Monday for me. I am beat up, but uh, we've got some Eagles news. You know the cutdown period. It has begun, and tomorrow it will commence. Four o'clock, they need to have their roster down to 53, so they've made some moves. 24 moves still to be made. We'll see if anything happens while I'm making this video. Not a live one. Still love to hear from you guys. Any questions, comments, we'll talk about what players are let go of here quickly. We'll take a look at the updated depth chart, keep you up to date with this. And then again, tomorrow, remember, I will be at my fantasy draft live at the link. I'll be posting videos, doing stuff. I'll try to keep up to date while I'm driving. Um, if I stop, I'll try to keep you guys up with who's being cut, all that stuff. And we'll talk about it once I get to the link. But uh, yeah, yeah. We're almost there, baby. Let's see that 53. You can go check out the video last night, my uh, final prediction there. And a lot of you liked it. A lot of you's getting that one. So let's go, baby. But uh, go check it out. You can see my thoughts on this roster. Uh, but let's take a gander here at the players that have been let go of so far. So you've got guys on the left that are waived. Then you've got the guys that have been cut. So if you're cut, it means you could be picked up right away. Anybody could sign you right now. On the left, the waived players they have to go through the waiver wire. So someone could claim them before you can try to put them on your practice squad. So we'll see if anybody claims any of these wave guys. Now, that's just for guys that have not had four over four accrued seasons here. So, you know, these are the younger guys on the left and then on the right, you can see your veterans. And then Mackay Gardner was cut off of the IR. So he is a free agent. He can sign wherever he pleases with an injury settlement. Again, that just means they gave him some money. He's gone off of the IR. So maybe he comes back on the practice squad. Um, we'll see if he signs elsewhere. But these guys are free to do what they want on the right here, the veterans. And we've talked about Greer, maybe the practice squad quarterback, maybe some of these other guys. Now, as these cuts continue, you'll see numbers become available. So Quinion Mitchell, people talking about 27 there. You know that Will Greer has number 13. People want Dotson to switch it up. So there could be moves made. We shall see, uh, but those are the players that have been let go of so far there, and no surprises so far, and we'll take a look here at this uh, depth chart, and you can see, you know, obviously Greer going to quarterback, running backs, I still think they're only keeping, you know, Gainwell and Shipley is the three behind, you know, the two guys behind Barkley, so three total. Wide receiver, all of a sudden, apparently Anias Smith has uh, an injury, Right? An injury? I think you all know uh, this is how he's moved right here. This phantom injury where the guy ends up on IR. So he's getting an MRI on his hamstring and his ankle. Apparently got hurt in the preseason game. So they'll be checking him out and I'm sure something will be wrong. And I'm sure he'll be placed on IR. But hey, look, um, only a couple spots here that you could take up. So uh, we'll see if that's what they want to do. Now, I've heard that, you know, the rule has been uh, changed, but I, I'm not exactly 100%. I think you could put as many as you want on IR, but the ones that are designated to return. I've heard two, but I thought it was like eight. They went somewhere wild with it, um, but then I heard four. So a lot of talk there. Regardless, I think Anaya Smith is one of those guys, and I think Tyler Steen could be if he's banged up. If it's not too serious, then maybe he just makes the roster, but... If Anais is there, that opens up another spot. And we've talked about it at tight end. You know, I think EJ Jenkins is your third. If you even keep one, maybe you just try to have a guy on practice squad and elevate them. Offensive line, you know, you have some injuries. So uh, you can see the guys in red that have been banged up. Obviously, I'm concerned about Goddard. I would love for him to be healthy. Uh, Johnny Wilson, he'll still make this roster. I don't think Campbell does with Dotson there. A lot of moves, you know, still to be made, but I don't think anything is going to be surprising. Now, with Benaiah Smith, that's surprising. So maybe a guy like, uh, you know, an Oram Burks or Josh Job, maybe a James Bradbury, who I didn't have it. Um, maybe Bradbury and McCollum make it. So we'll see here if anybody like a Thomas Booker can make it. A lot of, you know, interesting choices the Eagles have to make. And I'm pissed I'm going to be on the road tomorrow. I'm going to be working half the day. Then I'm going to leave halfway. Then I'm going to drive to the damn link. So it's going to be a very long day for me. I'm not going to lie to you. But, again, I'll do my best to keep you up to date with all that stuff. We'll definitely talk about it on Wednesday. We'll break down the 53-man roster. And then the practice squad can start after 4 o'clock. So we'll start finding out who those players are. Once I get home on Wednesday, 
We'll talk about the roster. We'll talk about the practice squad, everything. I'll do my best to keep you up to date. Again, if you missed that uh, 53-man final prediction, go check that video out. I'll post it down below in the comments. But uh, appreciate you taking the time here. Again, would love to hear from you. Hope you're having a great start to your week. Hope you're ready for some Eagles football. We're 11 days away. Let's go, baby. I know I'm ready to run through some effing walls. Let me know how you're feeling about it. But uh, if you guys need anything, you know you can always reach out. doesn't have to be about the birds. I always appreciate you guys trying to be there for you as you always are for me. Appreciate you with the like button, sharing this stuff, subscribing to the channel. Cannot do this stuff without you. We're almost at 3,500. Let's have it go, baby. Truly appreciate you sickos out there. Sicko season is almost coming to an end, and I can't if it wait. Let's go. But have yourselves a great rest of your night. Um, that's all I've got for you. So until next time, I am Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. You all stay safe out there, and as always, go Birds!